Welcome! The goal of this module is to guide you through how to manually update the configuration of your branch routers. To update the configuration of the routers, I can go to the Configure and Update Devices panel. The default filter is set to display all devices that are set to the current network policy, which in this case is branch networks, or default policies. Here I can see all the routers on my network. If you see APs and routers on this page, you can collapse the headers of the types of devices you do not want to see. For example, the device type headers are collapsible and expandable. Or you can create filters to specify the types of devices you want to see. Now I will check the box to select all of my routers and then I will upload their configuration. Hive Manager will automatically assign these routers to the network policy that I am currently working in. Since they are changing from the default to my current network policy, it is giving me a confirmation dialog, which all I have to do is click yes. It is also specifying that one or more of my LAN ports is not configured. That's okay because I'm going to define the guest networks later, which use the extra LAN ports. I will now click yes to continue. After the upload succeeds, it will take a few minutes for the routers to reboot and reestablish a connection with Hive Manager. To get more detailed status of the routers, select the link to go to Monitor All Devices, then go to the Routers section. Finally, when the audit column has a green check mark, you know that the configuration of Hive Manager and the routers are in sync. If you view the uptime column, you can see that the uptime has started over again from zero, letting you know that the routers have been successfully rebooted and have re-established communication with Hive Manager. They are now ready to accept connections to their SSIDs and LAN ports. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. You can now proceed to the next video in the Getting Started series.